Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's episode I'm going to show you my four favorite post spawn pike fishing baits, how to rig them and when to use them. This is up next. This one you should never ever ever leave home without. First cast, how sick is that? Oh that guy is a little lost. Oh fish on! Oh. This is a pretty damn big spoon, let me tell you that. Whoa! Oh, fish on! <laughs> what a magical evening! So I am standing here just in my t-shirt and that is probably the best way of knowing that the post spawn bite should be on. It's well over 20 degrees in the air and almost 15 degrees in the water. And this should mean that the pike have moved out from the shallows and are now standing on a little bit deeper water, closer to edges and big rocks out in the deeper water. Post spawn, that means after the spawning. And if some of you guys don't know what spawning is, it's when the pike are inside the shallows and making new small pike babies. When they do that, they can be really really hard to catch but now afterwards they are so 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 hungry and to make your post spawn pike fishing as easy and effective as it should be i have put together my four favorite lures to use after spawning let's dive right into the first one So when I'm going searching for big post-spawn pike mamas out on a little bit deeper water, my first choice is very often going to be the fat nose shad combined with an insta spinner bait. And it looks like this. It looks to be a really really big bait, but when you turn it this way, you can see that it has a really really narrow profile. And that narrow profile makes it very easy to cast, easy to retrieve, and most of the times the pike can take the whole bait without even hesitating. You can of course fish the fat nose uh, without this spinnerbait thing, but this little blade on the top really really serves a purpose in making sure that the pike will notice this thing. So we are going to give this baby a go, then we are going to see the next one. Around here we have deeper water and we're standing just on the edge from shallow to deep water. So let's give this place a go. So in terms of rigging this thing, so first we have this one, the Insta spinnerbait separately. Then we have a flex head and then we have a stinger. It's really so simple if you just follow these simple steps. You just screw this one in just like this. Make sure it's rather centered. See, just like that and it's good to go. Then we just pinch the treble right in the belly and that's it. When you move this guy in the water, you will know why the pike like it so much. And now it's time to see what the post spawn pike like about the fat nose. Now we know we're on the right spot. This is exactly the type of weed we're searching for. Oof. That's what Truman would say. Oof. Fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on, baby. There we go. There we go. Oh. No joke, I'm like three minutes into the fishing and we have the first fish of the day. Let's see what we have here. Oh, there we go, that's a nice post-spawn fish. Could have been a lot bigger, but... Another thing is that you need to be really careful when they are post-spawned. Look at that, what a nice start. And one treble hook gets the job done. Oh my god. You crazy girl. And in case they do that, just make sure to flex your elbow. Sorry baby, I'm not gonna keep you here much longer. Fat nose shed versus post spawn pike, 1-0. So that's the first fish and I have legit been fishing for like three minutes. This color is called Okoboye perch and I really really like it for post spawn pike fishing. So, lovely start, but we want something much bigger than that. This one you should never, ever, ever leave home without is the Atom from Abu Garcia. This is their rather new 55 gram version and this bait can absolutely blow your mind on how good it is for post spawn pike fishing. They come in many different sizes and colors but the 55 gram in some sort of silverish color can be absolutely lethal for post spawn pike. 
And if this one is a little bit too heavy for you, then just go with the lighter version. But I have a pretty heavy rod, so then I will always use the 55 gram. We all know, big baits catch big fish. It's just so simple, but yet so effective. When you throw this guy in the water, every single pike will know that it's there. It goes just like this in the water and the bling bling it makes, oh my god, it's so good. And really, really, every single pike fisherman should have this one in the box. And now we are going to give it a go. Turn to move back to the nine foot rod and to the Atom 55 gram. This is a pretty damn big spoon, let me tell you that. But boy, when the fish sees this, they cannot hesitate. They also cast to the freaking other side of the bay. Oh, come on. They're really focused. Oh, first cast, how sick is that? Oh my God, that's a big fish. Oh my God, oh my God, that's a big fish. Oh my God, first, nay, yeah. fuck. You're not allowed to say that. First cast. Merde scheiße! Fun! Oh, come on. First cast. Oh, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. I was just going up into the front of the boat because I saw some fish eating up here. And now we have something nice on the hook. What might you be, dear friend? Man, how nice. Whoa! Do you need to be careful of the trolling motor, girl? I mean, look what a freaking shabby fish. Now, I really would need a friend to help me, but we're gonna make it without it. And there we have it. Look what a freaking fat fish. Look at how shabby she is. This one has made it past some seals or cormorants or something. Lucky girl. And now, now you got fooled by me. Poor, poor girl. Right, there she goes. Are you okay, baby? Yeah, there she goes. Look at my hands. This is how it should be during post-spawn. Well, that was rather interesting, but I'm not surprised at all they, they took this old spoon. So the next bait up to the count is also a rubber bait, and this one is called the Drunk Bait. This is a German invention by our friends over at Hecht und Barch. What makes this bait so special is that apart from many other rubber baits, it has almost a 90 degree angle on top of the head and this makes the lure go really really sexy for those post spawn mamas. And this lure also works really really good with the Insta spinner bait. And the Insta spinner bait is not something we're using all of the year but at this time in the, basically through the whole summer those, uh, those accessories are working really really good. Drunk bait, highly high mat approved, now we're going to see if it's pike approved. And I thought we would start with this uh, blue and yellow one. It gives a really nice shimmer in the water. They also have some cool pike ones, but at least I'm gonna start with this one. Maybe I can try this one on the spinner rig later. But I still like to fish this pretty aggressively through the weeds. That's probably the most important thing to fish when you're searching for, for post-spawn pike. To fish with speed, aggressiveness. The pike need to know that something is there around them and then the pike should want to kill it. Oh, nee. <gasps> Shit, I just lost one. I just lost one pike on this one. Can't catch them all. And that just made me wonder, you know, sometimes it's just something with the color or the vibration of the bait. So I'm just going to try it the pike color on the same bait. I'm also going to spice it up even more by putting on this uh, spinner bait rig and then we're good to go. And generally when I put on the spinner bait rig, I tend to not pause so much. They will just swim and grab it anyway. Oh, nay! Again, I just lost it. Are you kidding me? The second cast with a spinner bait rig. Ah, oh, merde. What is the problem? Right, we are going to start drifting a little bit now and I just added an extra stinger hook just in case. It might help me hook the next one so I don't lose it like the first one. All right, let's go. 
Oh, fish on, baby! Fish on! Yes! On the drunk bay! This one has some little bit more heavier head shakes. I'm not sure though. Man, isn't it lovely with some pike fishing. Oh, this is always so exciting before you know how big it is. But it has some weight to it, this girl. She's not coming in. Oh, what a nice looking fish. Whoa! Come on now, baby. Ha, what a pretty looking pike. Look at that. I just put on the extra treble hook. I haven't seen a pike pretty like this in a very, very long time. Look at that. She has a really wide back as well. We are going to say thank you and sorry for interrupting in your evening. That's probably my biggest weakness when it comes to fishing. Every time I hook into a fish, I think it's a freaking huge one. But sadly they are not. But you know what's also a killer? Number three on the list. And number three on the list is a shatterbait. And this shatterbait is called Wild Header from Mega Bass. And Mega Bass, for those of you who don't know, is a Japanese high-end producer of fishing baits. And this one is no exception. You can catch many, many, many pike on this thing before it breaks. You can either choose to fish it with a trailer, like I do. This is the X-Layer Curly. And it's actually designed to be a trailer for the Wild Header. But you can also fish it without any trailers. And that way you will catch every predatory fish that swims in your waters. You can catch perch, sander, but most of all, post-spawn pike. And a nice bonus thing with using the Mega Bass Wild Header is that it's almost weedless with its, uh, it has only one single hook on it and the blade really, really fades away from the grass. So now we're going to give this baby a go. Mega Bass Wild Header plus the X-Layer Curly 7 inch. It's quite a big bait. I think I also might put a stinger onto this one. But first, let's try without it. Oh my God, that is so insanely hot. Let's give it a go. Oh man, the vibrations you feel in your rod when you fish with this bait, it's absolutely incredible. Oh, fish, nay! Oh man! Oh, I, oh, I took it again! Come on, take it a third time. Oh man! Right, I just put a stinger on here as well. Let's see if that can make my next fish come into the boat. Fish on! Fish on! Oh! On oh, the wild header! Really with this vibrating bait, oh they take it so hard every single time. Let's see what we have here now. Whoa! She's crazy! And you see here on the North Silver 585 fish that we're using, we have these fish landing platforms. So sometimes we go here. Oh and luckily this one is on the stinger too. How could you not see that this is not dinner for you? right down the throat. Oh girl, you're so beautiful, but you need to grow bigger and you need to be able to tell the difference between a roach and a shatterbait in the future. Okay, bye bye. It's a really, really handy way of releasing them and won't hurt them at all. And just to prove it to you guys that they will eat this bait without something back on it, I'm just gonna take a few casts and show you how simple it is. And also the way I work these shatterbaits, it's very, very simple. I just reel them straight in. No pauses, no nothing, just a steady retrieve. I can sometimes, if I have fished a long time without having anything on the shatter bait, I can start to sometimes reel it a little bit slower and then speed it up a little bit. And then usually when I slow it down, I get a bite. Still that the blades are spinning, so to say. So what we want is never for this blade in the front to stop spinning. And they cast like a freaking can on these baits. Oh, fish on! Oh! Fish on! Oh, what a take! I, it almost felt like I hit the bottom. Wow, what a take! Let's see her. Ah, she's a pretty nice one. She is a pretty nice one and she broke my rod almost. <laughs> that was bigger than the last one I caught, but smaller than the biggest of today. But these shatterbaits, I will tell you one thing folks, they do work pretty damn good. All right, that's it for the shatterbait. But I want to thank the wild header for doing its part. I almost landed the second biggest fish of the day on a tiny lure like this. Never be afraid to downsize because bigger fish will eat it too.
Well, yeah, I can definitely see that I burned my nose way, way more than I should have if I just should have brought some sunscreen. But what an amazing trip home that was. I met a road deer in the middle of the lake, but I think he was all right. I had such a good time today on the water. The weather was absolutely amazing. Maybe not perfect for pike fishing. I mean, no clouds at all and the sun was shining the whole day. But now it's just about to set and it's time for me to go home. I just quickly want to add that if you're interested in this bundle, you can just click the link up here and you'll get to it. Because uh, I really put a lot of time and effort into creating the perfect post-spawn pike fishing bundle, if you ask me. But I will see you guys again very, very soon. So, until next time everybody, have a good one!